Dear viewers, uh, this is Mohammad Azruddin from Web Trainings Academy, and ho I hope you are all doing great. Uh, in this today's video, uh, I want to give um, an explanation and also the process of how to become a Google certified professional. Because uh, I have uh, got a lot of questions and a lot of my students as well. Uh, they ask me about uh, how can uh, we become a certified professional. Basically, in our curriculum, we are we are um, having a detailed discussion on that topic. But for the YouTube viewers, uh, a lot of followers who are, who are following us and who are, who are our subscribers, especially for our subscribers and for any beginner, he wants to know what is this uh, certification and um, what are the things we have we will do in the certification. So for that users, for those users who want to know how to become a certified, this video I am for those users. So stay tuned and I will uh, step by step take you to the whole process. Number one, basically how many certifications does Google offer? See Google offers two kind of certification. One is basically called as the Google AdWords Certified Professionals which means uh, this certification is for individuals. This certification is for individual people like me and you and all other people. Now, there is also another certification offered by Google, which is called as Google Certified Partner. Google Certified Partner. Now, I want to give you a clarification here that what is the difference between an individual and partner means if you want to become a Google Certified Partner, what is the condition for that is you have to have, you have to uh, have a spend limit that is you have to spend money on your MCC account and your entire accounts the combined spend for 90 days must be minimum $10,000 so that is how you can get the Google certified label like our company IT Info Group is a certified uh, partner okay so that is the two options we can work out so let's uh, just take that particular options uh, into uh, consideration let us go ahead and see where should I uh, write this certification and what is the process. See, beginning with the basic concepts here, uh, when you want to become an individual uh, professional, first you should learn what is AdWords. You should have a hands-on knowledge on Google AdWords. Then only you can easily clear this certification exam. So if you once understand what is AdWords, how to work with it, let us go ahead and see how to implement the concept of, uh, what is the concept of this AdWords uh, certification. So you can go to google.com slash partners. Once you go into the partners, you have to click on sign up or join the partner list. So I can say you can find some uh, existing partners or if you say sir I want to be a certifier or I want to be a company, you can just say join Google partners. Now if I just go ahead and say join now, now if suppose your account is a company account and if it is actually an uh, say for example an MCC account, then you have a probability to get the concept of even getting a certification on the company name as well. So even that option would be possible for you to achieve. So I would just go ahead and say Web Trainings 10, uh, just a new account we ha I have, so at gmail.com. So if you just go with, so I'm just creating a new account. This is a fresh account. Uh, we have never signed up for this. So if you just go ahead and Okay, so now you can just uh, select this option and say then next step. All right, and I don't want to get any promotional offer. Sign up. So now you have subscribed yourself as a Google partner, which is like an individual partner. It's not an MCC account, and uh, right now it's just an individual partner. So here you see you have just logged in. All right, now you can see if you want to write the exam so you can just see on the left hand side there is an option of certifications under that adverse so click on adverse and this is what your examination page papers look like so first you start with fundamentals exam which is the fundamental means all the basic questions you know introductory questions and very simple questions would be there on the exam paper one and once you complete this it's compulsory to write that exam and after that you can either write search advertising Either you write display advertising, either you write video advertising or shopping advertising or mobile advertising, which means this is the fundamental exam you have to clear. After that, out of this five, you can select anyone. But one thing you have to remember, if you write only search advertising, you will get a certification as a search advertising. 
you get that specialization. If you even cover the display, you will get another certificate like you are a display expert. If you clear the video, you will get like this. If you clear all of this exam, you will be getting the certifications for one, two, three, four, five different certification exams. And just recently, one of my uh, students have cleared all the certifications, all the certifications as well as Google certification. You can just see uh, this is a certification for display uh, advertising. Just recently, he completed this. And if you next see, this is the certification for display. And then you can uh, see the other certifications as well, which have been done. So this is for uh, mobile certification. And then all the other uh, also have been done. Same like search advance and all. So see, the basic idea here is by showing your certification or by getting the certification, you are actually uh, showing your uh, efficiency. You are showing that you really you have a subject knowledge. And also I would tell you one uh, uh, warning sign here, warning uh, point here. Many students whom I know, like a uh, lot of people who are not even studied anywhere, they just studied from... Uh, you know some internet tutorials or something most of the students what they are trying to do even I got some resumes uh, who want to get a job in our company so we were easily able to find out they were just cheated in the exam so what some of the users are doing nowadays are they are just uh, typing the question uh, in Google search and whatever the answer they will get they will just answering it I will say never ever try with that strategy it's a waste of your time because when you go to a company, immediately, if suppose a person who is expert, okay, and obviously experts will take the mostly the interview, so they will immediately understand that you didn't pass the exam yourself, you just cheated. Why? If you see, if you, uh, if I get some person who is uh, showing certification, then I will ask him right away. I will ask him questions which are similar to the exam pattern, and he will not be able to answer because uh, the point is he cheated in the exam. So I would say never ever try to cheat in this exam. Anyway, it's online. So it's not a good idea to you know cheat in the exam and get the certification. It is about work hard. If you fail first time, you work hard for the second time. But when you do it yourself, then absolutely you will have the subject knowledge. And when you go to a real interview, you can also uh, face the interview with the confidence and you can answer the questions without any problem. So this is the option you have to. This is the way you can able to get certified. It's a very simple point and where you have to just go ahead with exam details. And when you are ready, just start taking the exam. So this is a simple way of step by step, how can you become a Google certified uh, professional. Now, apart from this, if suppose someone asks me, sir, how can you become a partner? Now, very simple. If you want to be a partner, process is same. But in a partner, you have to use a company account. Generally, if IT Info Group is a partner, so we would be using our company like Info at IT Info Group as a, that is our MCC account. So we will use that MCC account to uh, to log in into partner program then then once you come here you see the profile details will be there like here I would be saying right now here the option is what connect with your company because this is an individual profile but in that uh, con uh, consideration you can able to invite individuals or individuals can attach your company which means to be a certified professional minimum you require one adverse professional in that company and number two is you must have a spend limit you must spend monthly Mini, uh, not monthly, sorry, in last 30, uh, 90 days, that is three months of period of time, you have to spend $10,000. So which is two things you have to qualify to get a certified label, certificate label, uh, certified company label. One is you need to have one adverse professional and number two, you should spend on an average in last 90 days, every time when Google check, it must be $10,000 that is a way of getting the certified partner and also one small point I want to tell I have seen that lot of training institutes are trying to use this concept of being a certified partner and mostly I've seen very every one of them will put in all their brochures everywhere they are putting that we are a partner we are a partner but please they understand this being a partner doesn't mean that you are the expert or you are the world uh, best company see any person can become, any company can become a partner if they have one professional and they have an ability to spend $10,000 in their MCC account. So that doesn't mean that they have a partnership with Google. Many people, many students get confused. If someone use the word Google partner, so don't think that he's a training partner of Google and Google have endorsed them and Google have a direct relationship with the company. No, it is just a program for advertising. This is just a program for promoting your company and getting the projects from 
good company. So that is the certified partner. So don't get fooled by uh, seeing the certified partner label and thinking that they are a Google training partner. No, they are only a certified company, which means they are spending $10,000 in uh, every three months minimum and then they have few certified professionals as well. So this was the way we can get started and uh, in, in our next video, in our next video, next series of this adverts, I would be also going to cover some new topics. So stay, stay tuned and if you like our video, please uh, like the video as well as you can give, leave your comments because I take videos and I respond to your comments as well and also please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.